Oh, so many of us have been on the side of a woman's right to choose and abortion rights for decades. If you add up all of the years of uh, of all of us fighting that battle, this battle, um, it's going to be over 100 years, I'd say. So I'm glad to join my colleagues in pointing out that uh, the the issue was never about states' rights. It was all about controlling a woman's right to make decisions about her own body. And when a woman can't make decisions about uh, her own body and about abortion, this affects her family, her community, and our economy. So, as mentioned, the vast majority of Americans support a woman's right to bodily autonomy, but apparently Republicans don't think so. So we have the senior senator from uh, South Carolina saying that he would like to, uh, he has proposed a 15-week national ban. Why 15 weeks? Because that's something he's comfortable with, something he's comfortable with. Amazing. And this is not some sort of a hypothetical uh, debate because if Republicans take control over the Senate, they are going to push for a national ban. And that means that states like Hawaii, which was the first state in the nation to protect uh, a woman's right to choose, we uh, supported abortion before Roe was decided. And all other states that come forward or already have in place uh, basically codifying Roe under this national ban bill would fall by the wayside. And note that uh, a lot of the very people who talk about requiring people to wear a mask, that is uh, interfering with their personal freedoms, but they think nothing of forcing women to have babies. So asking somebody to wear a mask, oh, my goodness, that is just, you know, too much. But forcing a woman to have a baby, not a problem. Talk about government overreach. Talk about hypocrisy.